boys and girls, I hope you're enjoying our school holiday art series and today we are creating this fun artwork. It is inspired by an artist called Andy Warhol from the pop art movement. Now pop art was all about creating artwork based on popular culture. So things that were really popular like a can of soup. Everyone loves a can of soup. Uh, celebrities, maybe it was really yummy food, maybe it was favourite kind of objects at home. We are going to be using an apple to print with. I'm sure all of you have an apple at home. We're going to be using really bright contrasting colours just like artists in the pop art movement. And we are going to put our artwork or our little prints in this kind of composition which is really similar to the way that Andy Warhol presented his artworks too. So to create this and actually this one, we need an apple, we need some colored paper. These ones are cut 12 by 12 centimeters, uh, which you guys can do. What do we need? We need black paint, some other colored paint and a paintbrush. And that's pretty much it. Let's get started. You guys can choose any kind of colour squares that you like, but I have five yellow, four blue, and then I've got some white as some extra ones. So I'll lay out my yellow squares first, and I'm going to put some paint in my tray, and I'm going to put in a nice long line like this. You don't need a lot. And I've spread them out on a plastic mat, or you could use newspaper. And then I'm going to dip my scrap of cardboard into the paint, and then I'm gonna create a background sort of pattern on my paper. Now you've gotta be careful not to press too hard and also have two fingers holding your colored paper so that it doesn't kind of flap around and move. If you guys can do any direction of line sort of strokes, they can go over the top, they could go in angles, anything that you like with trying to create a background pattern for our printing. So you can experiment with radial design so that's like circles sort of kind of going in a circular pattern yeah or horizontal or vertical and I'm going to continue that over my yellow squares first and then I'm going to go switch colors. Now for my blue, and I'm going to use my white ones as well with this bright yellow. I think blue and yellow are really contrasting and kind of bright together, so they work well. It's probably not the project to use sort of pastel colors, because like I said, pop art is so bright and really contrasting, so we want some bold colors there. Now, if I use the opposite side of my cardboard scrap, I'm gonna get a different length line. So you could use two, both sides of your cardboard scrap, which might make it a little easier. While you're waiting for your artwork to dry, you could still be using your little cardboard scraps by doing this. I've got a little bit of paper and I'm putting tiny little drops of paint. Just a few, or you can use kind of what was left on your paint tray. Just a few over the top. And we're gonna use our cardboard scrap one more time. So I've got my two colors. I'm just gonna add a little bit of orange just to go with this warm color scheme little <laughs> there we go little block okay that should be enough 
Now grab your scrap bit of paper and let's see what kind of textures we can create. Look how fun that is. So we're creating another background. This is just going to be a little extra piece to do with your pop art apple prints. Wow. Have some fun with this while your other artwork dries. Now that my artwork has dried, it's time to print with our apple. So let's cut an apple in half. Perfect. So this is what we are going to print with. And for my printing, I need some black paint. So I'm going to put some black paint in my palette. And I also need my paintbrush. So the first thing to do to put a little bit, okay, a little bit, not heaps of paint, on my paintbrush, and I'm going to actually remove this stalk because it might get in the way. I'm going to paint my apple. Now, I will just give you a tip. We can't eat this apple when we're done. It's going to be kind of black and yucky. So I'm going to just stroke my paintbrush across. Now, some of these prints might not work. That's why we did a few extra kind of colored squares. And the reason they might not work is if we have too much paint on our apple. So what, I'll show you what will be really tricky to get a good print. Can you see that there's a, like a really big blob of black paint there? That's not gonna print very well. Also, if you have a lot of paint on the edge of your apple, that's not gonna get a really clear print either. So if you do, just sweep that off with your paintbrush even if you have a little wipe you can sweep that so just a really smooth covering okay and now we're going to take our apple and put it on our first page and press you press kind of medium pressure but you're going to work it out as you move through your prints what the right amount of pressure is and reveal okay it didn't print perfectly here. So that means I think I need to press a little bit harder in this spot, or it might mean that my apple wasn't cut perfectly straight. But we have extras, so let's try this one again. Uh, I can see, see my apple, just this little bit. That might mean my prints are not super perfect, but I could use my other half of my apple. Okay, let's try one more time. On go. Press. I'm going to press in this section where I think it didn't really print that well. Let's have a look. Come on, Apple. Oh, not too bad. I think that is not really going to print very well. So if that's the case, I'm going to use my second half. And I'm just going to keep going and printing all my squares. So you guys, grab yours, paint your apple. You can even have a little practice on a scrap bit of paper if you want to practice first. And I'll see you after you've created your prints. Everything is finally dry and now I'm going to put it in a final composition. So let's find any kind of large sheet of paper that we can glue our pop art printed squares onto. So I'm going to arrange these in like a checkerboard composition because that was sort of common in the pop art movement actually. So what could I do? I'm going to spread out my colors. And this is where you can use the best prints and you kind of can just leave the other ones. If everything goes, if bit goes over the edge, that's fine. It won't matter. What about that? Now 
finishing one. Aha! Let's put that there. Great! I really like that. I've got a big spread of like the yellow and the blue. And I had some extra ones, but I'm not going to use them. So now I'm going to get my glue stick and glue them on one by one. Let's go. 